This is a linearization problem, and the first thing I did is I put the linearization formula here. The trick with this is they don't give us the f of x function, in this case f of t. So first of all, let's go ahead and change our variable from x to t. Now, we are given information about the derivative of the f function, and that will let us get f prime of a. But first of all, what is a? So a, normally it's an x value, but in this case it's a t value, and you can see it right here, t equals 2. So let's write that down, a is 2. And f of t is the weight in grams. <clears throat> what we need is f of a, which of course for us is f of 2. Now we don't have the f function, however, there's some more information. There's 4 grams, and the f function is the weight in grams. So there's 4 grams of solid at time equals 2. That means what is f of 2? It's the weight in grams of the solid, and they tell us that's 4. So again, I don't know the f of t function, but I do know the f value at 2 which is really what we need. Now, let's go ahead and find out what is f prime of 2. So I am just going to copy this right here, and I'm going to plug in. We've already, the derivative is already taken, so it's okay to plug in 2 right now. So we're not taking a derivative here. I'm just plugging in to the derivative. So f prime of 2, I see two places t appears, so I'm just going to put 2 in there. Negative 2 f of 2 times 3 plus f of 2. Now, we know f of 2. We just wrote it down. It's 4 right there. So I'm going to fill in that value for f of 2 and f of 2. Negative 2 times 4 times 3 plus f of 2, which again is 4. And evaluate that. We get negative 8 times 7. 54, hopefully, negative 54. All right, that's f prime of 2. So our L of t, I'll, first thing I'm going to do is just swap in 2 for a. a appears three times. So we have f prime of 2 times t minus 2. I'm filling in 2 for a, not for t, not yet. All right, and now we have all these values computed. f prime of 2 we just said was negative 54 times t minus 2, regular f of 2 is 4, so this is L of t, so we've linearized this function. What are we asked about? Estimate the amount of solid one second later. So what time would that be? It's not 1, it's 1 second after 2. Originally, I didn't pay attention to the units, and time equals 2, that's our A value. We want to know the amount of solid one second later. Units are important. It's two minutes, which means that T is measured in minutes. However, we're asked about one second later. Now, one second is one sixtieth of a minute. So it's one sixtieth of a minute later. So that means T is not three. Our t value we want is 2 plus 1 60th. All right, we're going to plug that in now. So we're going to do L of, it may seem silly to plug in 1 60th, not 16th. But that's fine. We can plug in whatever t value we want. You'll see, hopefully, this will work out nicely. So that's t minus 2 plus 4. So now we have 2 minus 2 cancels. Negative 54 over 60. I don't know why I keep writing 16. So we have negative 54 over 60, which is negative 0.9 plus 4, and that will be 